Greetings and welcome to another impressions video here at Words About Games and today we're going to be looking at We Should Talk. We Should Talk is a short form experimental narrative game of a woman unwinding at a bar, texting with her girlfriend Sam while simultaneously talking to some of the other people at the bar. You'll use what the developer calls the conversation spinner to form sentences as you talk, constructing your lines out of a few different parts to create dialogue that can change entirely in tone, intent and meaning simply by changing one or two words. When I made the decision back in February to play more smaller, quirkier indie games in 2020, We Should Talk is exactly the kind of game I was talking about. Smaller concept games that focus on narrative and characters and do things differently from the norm are hugely interesting to me. In We Should Talk's case, this interest has definitely paid off, because this is a gem of a game. We Should Talk is a simple game. You talk to people by spinning up dialogue on the conversation wheel. That's it. Saying different things will provoke different responses from whoever you're talking to. While a single playthrough from end to end probably only takes about 15 to 20 minutes, you won't see everything or learn everything about the different characters in one go. There are nine different endings to the game, and you'll need to experiment to see them all. I've seen about five of the different endings so far, with the intention to figure out how to get all nine, but we should talk isn't just about the destination. Different lines of dialogue can get the characters to open up to you, with sometimes very unpredictable consequences. Sometimes choosing different dialogue can lead to a charming back and forth about going to the gym with Sam, or learning that your ex Dante is starring in an off-off-Broadway play so strange that I want to know as much as possible. Other times you'll get characters to open up about heavier topics rough childhoods, social anxiety, racial discrimination, and more. Including the protagonist, there are five characters in the game, and each one has a lot of depth waiting to be explored. Despite reaching the credits every 15 or so minutes, I was always eager to dive back into the game and see what else I could learn about each of the characters by tweaking my tone and choice of words. The conversation spinner is a really interesting and unique way to choose dialogue options and interact with characters, and I have to say, I'd love to see it adopted in more games going forward. It honestly reminds me of the first time I encountered the dialogue wheel in the original Mass Effect. It was a great feature, but part of me liked to imagine how it could enrich other games going forward. And I'm just going to come out and say it. I love Sam. The main character's girlfriend is an adorable dog, and I just wanted to love and encourage her with every interaction. Honestly, if the option existed to just leave the bar the second she texts about slurping nudes, I'd have probably picked it pretty quickly. When it came time to aim for an ending where I broke her heart, which I assumed had to exist, it felt terrible. The game isn't shy about letting you be a pretty terrible person, and honestly, it crushed me a little. So much so that on my next playthrough, I was as nice and supportive as I possibly could be to her, just to make myself feel a little better. Which is a testament to how well written Sam and the protagonist are, that we should talk could make me feel things like that. The other three characters, all of whom you'll meet and interact with in person at the bar itself, are less well drawn, though this is partly down to having fewer interactions with them. I never found myself as invested in them as I was in Sam, which is understandable given that you spend way more time in any given playthrough interacting with her, unless you continuously blow her off, you monster. We Should Talk is a simple game, but a very engrossing one. It's a very short game, but one I couldn't help but replay over and over as I tried to learn as much as possible and see all of the potential interactions and endings that I could. The game is anchored by the relationship between the main character and Sam, which is compelling thanks to the excellent writing and depth of both characters. I really enjoyed peeling away the layers of the cast of characters and learning more about them with each playthrough, and I really love the conversation spinner as a unique way to choose your own dialogue. If you're looking for an interesting, engaging narrative game, We Should Talk is a game that will definitely speak to you. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, consider sticking around here at Words About Games. Our content includes review impressions of games big and small, a weekly podcast dedicated to discussing the happenings in and around the games industry, weekly opinion videos, reactions, debate-driven top 5 and top 10 lists, a regular Hall of Fame series where we discuss our favourite games, and indie game spotlights. We also stream every Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames. Most importantly, have a brilliant day.